Let the past die. Or at least that's the phrase that took the world by storm for two reasons. One, people who thought it was actually good. And for two, The Last Jedi sucks. But what I am here to talk about right now is something that I feel deeply. I think that we are past the point in time where we should be hate watching or even trying to revival watch Marvel and DC or even some of the old properties that they have brought out of timelessness promptly set it into our political and cultural time and absolutely eviscerated the heroes from our past. Although I watch many YouTubers myself cover all of the shows out there and I listen to their hysterical takes on these absolutely garbage shows and I do find this that form of entertainment personally entertaining. Hmm. Entertainment, entertaining, interesting. Well, boy, those two words haven't met in a while. But my point here is that I think that it is time for us to set our focus towards the future. It is time to set our focus not on these mega corpos who are trying to absolutely eviscerate the things that we love anymore. But it's time to focus on the little guy. Okay, that sounded like a little bit of a political speech, but here's what I mean. There's a lot of writers out there right now who are writing their own stories, people who are trying to do animated films, people who are trying to build stories, create things that are absolutely entertaining and absolutely fun for all of us to watch. People who are trying to do wholesome content, kids content, the fun, you know, uh, 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 you know, rated R or PG-13 content, and none of their names are known. And yet so many people keep taking money out of their wallets to hate watch or try to scream at these mega corpos please 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 this is what's wrong with your show if you just did this it would fix it and i would love to watch your show again but you're still watching the show it's why i don't watch them it's why i won't go back to them my goal here on this channel is to try to find the next generation of great storytellers. Now, a lot of it's been bandied about as the Iron Age, and that seems to be the word that has galvanized everybody. So it's galvanized iron? Does that exist? Does galvanized iron exist? You should comment down below if that exists. But it seems to be the term that galvanized so many people to saying, you know what? We are the people who are going to create the next generation of content. We're the people who are going to create the next generation of storytelling. It will be at our hands with the stroke of our pens, the stroke of our paintbrushes, or the swipe of our tablets that we create the new art, the new thing. And guess what? We will return to tradition, the tradition that has carried mankind for thousands of years we will show you that it is within our power and not the mega corpo's power to show the world the way of storytelling this is what we need to do although it is an absolute blast and a riot to watch all of these channels who seem to hate watch and they don't hate watch and that's not what they do they laugh watch what's happening right now but soon that's not going to be just laughing at something we are going to fall into a place where none of this matters anymore we're going to fall into a place where it's not even funny to watch this stuff anymore and when that happens everybody's going to need a place to go well look well these channels they're not covering the the things that are fun to laugh watch at because they're just not it, it's so bad now it's just not even funny eventually that emotion will wear out the brain can only pump out so much of it before you get used to it and you no longer get the laughter or the promise from that feeling anymore that's just science so my goal here and what the goal of everyone should be is whatever time that you take to dedicate to the hate watching or the laugh watching of all of this stuff out there at least dedicate a portion of that time 25 percent of that time to new creators to new authors to new comic book creators to new movie creators to new animators find that thing that is going to be that something that you can go you know what i can get behind this but not because of the mockery and the absolute anger that i feel towards it but i can get down on this 
because it makes me feel like there is hope in the future and hope in the storytelling and something that I want to pass along to the next generation. It is time that we stop hate watching. It's time that we stop mock watching. And although I say this again, there are YouTubers out there who I love to watch. I love hearing their criticisms. I love hearing what they're pointing out. And you know why that is beneficial? Because those are the guys telling the new generation, this is what you don't do. So you're able to watch these guys and they critique things. And if you're a younger creator, a new creator or a creator that's been doing it a while and you're just looking for that, that thing, you, that thing that gets you out there, you can go look all of the things that these guys complain about. I don't do in my books. You know how I know because I wrote them. I listened to the criticisms of the modern media and it is time, ladies and gentlemen, to rise from the ashes of the abyss that is the old media. It is time to stand up, stand proud, and make sure that the world hears our voices, hears what we are here to offer. So many people have talked about She-Hulk. So many people have talked about Marvel over the last many years. So many people have talked about the absolute travesty, which we all knew it was gonna be, that was to be the rings of power. And yet, there are still so many people watching it. The reviews are in the dumpster. The reviews keep falling. The companies keep coming out and claiming that apparently they've learned their lesson and they haven't and they won't. But you know what will scare the hell out of these people? Is when an up and coming writer, whether it be somebody who writes a script, a book, a comic book, or even comes up with an animated film. When one of those guys comes out and makes numbers that just makes these people go, oh crap, we screwed up. Now, it is my hope that some of these companies fail with utter misery because penance is deserved here. But if they do not, I absolutely understand. I don't wish any harm to any people there. I do, however, wish more financial success to the people who are telling good stories than the people who are writing absolutely bad stories intentionally bad stories just to poke fun at people just to get the hate watches just to make sure that they're talked about on youtube and like i said there's a lot of channels out there that i watch that i love creators that really helped me through a hard time when star wars failed epically that one hurt that one hurt bad that one hurt like watching somebody that I knew personally pass away. And yet, these YouTubers have shown us, here's the mistakes, here's what's wrong. We've been listening to them for years. Now it is time for those people who are much more creative than I. And I've met a lot of you out there. I see your emails, I talk with you on my Gilded, I talk with you on my channel, and I am doing my best to give you guys the megaphone that I think that you deserve. Now, I could be wrong. But screw it, I'm going to try anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, the day of the hate watch is over. And the day of watching those that we love, watching those that we want to see, and the day of the Phoenix watch... We will rise from the ashes of what they have done. Well, it's time to burn bright, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to rise from those ashes. It's time to bring these new creators up. And it is time to show these mega corpros who's in charge. Stop dedicating 20%, 25% of what you dedicate to the mega corpos for hate watching and give that little bit of money to these other guys. And if enough of you do it, I promise you, you're going to see something absolutely incredible happen. There's no doubt in my mind that what is coming is the renaissance of our day. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like what I am doing here, don't forget to subscribe down below, ring the notification bell, and do my absolute favorite thing, whether you love me or hate me, comment down below because I make sure to dedicate a special live stream to all of your comments on my channel on Sundays at 11 p.m. Central Time. So with that being said, thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. 
Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.